Welcome back everybody to the Eldritch Fam. Hopefully y'all are having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be taking you along on a ride in this biplane. We rebuilt this over the last, I don't know, seven years, eight years. It might be even 10 years now. And uh, we've had it flying for two and a half or three years now. So I've got Maverick. We're gonna all jump in this airplane, me, my dad, and Maverick. And we're going to take y'all along for a flight. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Because I know we're going to. And as you can tell, the car is still completely torn apart. If you watched yesterday's video, uh, we had to replace the fuel pump on this car. And we got it all taken apart. We got the new pump put in. And then decided we were going to get a different pump. So now it's going to sit here for the next couple of days until we can get back after it to finish putting the new pump in. But the new pump won't get here until Friday. So we're kind of at a stuck point. Are we going for an airplane ride this morning? Push, Mavi, push, push, push. He's got his headphones. He's all ready. He's ready to go. Oh, we do it. We do it. We do it. Push, Mavi, push. Reminds me of when I was a kid and pushing those out. Yep, we did this together. We probably have a picture somewhere doing it with a Stinson. Yeah, Pete and Pole. <laughs> oh, and the Pete and Pole too. Papa's Pete and Paul. We'll have to introduce you to that airplane sometime. Oh man, I want to go to Utah and take him for a flight on that. That would be so much fun. I want to get that out Look, there's a Pete We need to. Pete and Paul. So for those of you that don't know, my dad built his first airplane when he was 23, 24. Whose car is that? Man, somebody had a bad day. Um, they're bringing it to you. <laughs> so my dad built a Pete and Paul when he was around my age, this was like 20 something years ago. And, uh, and that's it hanging on the shed. And that's, that's it. Yeah. That's it hanging on the wall there. So my dad's brother, um, ended up buying it from my dad and repainting it, recovering it, repainting it. And, uh, but we've had so much fun flying that plane. And now I'm building the exact same one, which as you guys know, we have a shop being built right now. And as soon as it's done, that's the first thing that's going in it. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> That'll be super fun. We need to have, a, I, I dream of having a formation flight of two, the two Pete and Poles, Crandall's and mine. Because his is still flying. It just isn't getting flown. It's in Utah. So we've talked about getting it to going to Utah, picking it up and flying it out here and having it here. And then we would, we'd have both of them, which when would be Crandall so When Crandall was fun. in Utah, he would borrow it for like three weeks at a time yeah. and fly it every day. So the cool thing is, is that airplane, the, the version that I built, I built before Crandall was born. Yep. And then he learned to fly, and then we trained him to learn how to fly that. So he and his brother, both of them, have flown a plane that I built before both of them were born. Yeah, that's pretty that cool. That makes me feel pretty old, <laughs> but it's so dang cool. Yeah, so, so then... Mav's going to fly Crandall's. we got to build a third one. I know. So we can have, like, three generations. That'd be pretty dang sweet. Have each each one that each of us that's right. built. Yep. Yeah. Mav, you want to build an airplane? Don't tell your mom. She won't be pretty happy about it. <laughs> Maybe not yet. Yeah, not yet. We'll, we'll give it some time. All right, let's, uh, we got headsets. Yeah. Let's grab those. You got yours? Perfect. Test, test, test. Test, test. There we go. Test, test. Check, 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 check. Clear prop.
Maverick, what did you think? I liked it. Was that so much fun? I thought that was a fun time. Did you have a good time? Do you like flying or what? Like you do? Guess what? What? Why before I fly? When I still here. Uh-huh. I mean I said to everybody, um, we are going to get another pimple, but you have one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I what did say, say that. Morning. He said, when you were talking over there, you said we're going to get another pimple, but we already have one. Uh, uh. Ready? Well, thanks, Dad. That was a nice little hop around the patch. Yeah. That was a good time. Get out, get the AC going. Uh -huh. I haven't been flying in, it's probably been two or three months. So that was a much needed excursion. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know I needed. Yeah, you needed it. <laughs> get back into the uh, aviation spirit. Okay, you can bring that over there, Matt. Tell everybody what you thought. <laughs> the the pool noodle? noodle? Yeah. What else were you thinking when you were up there? Um, you think next time you could go by yourself? with And you can sit in the chair by yourself? Me and you? In that, in that one? <laughs> what about in this one? I think you could sit in the front by yourself. How about... <laughs> you do this one. I think that's that a good idea. Fun. And then you could see me flying from the other airplane. Have we taken him by himself yet? Not on this. Have we did? I don't think we've done it in that either. Maybe we'll do that. We'll yeah. Boost your seat in the 210 and take him for a little ride. He'd love that, yeah. Because then he's side by side. Yeah. Well, that'd be pretty cool. Then we could get some good air to air footage. How about like Yeah. Ready? <laughs> they know how to do it. This is so much fun. Three generations of flying. Cut it quite a bit over there. There you go. A little bit further back. Yeah, I think we're in. Five. Good job. Woo -ha! Well, now we gotta rush home before the heat really kicks up. It's already like 90, 85 degrees, 90 degrees out there. Yep. But we got a little air conditioning and we co we committed aviation. Yep. <laughs> That'll make you wanna finish your own airplane. My goodness. Maybe are you gonna fly in the peat and pole? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. We Absolutely gotta go That's the people. funnest plane. It really is. So it's the similar to this. It's open cockpit, but it's got one wing on the top. So imagine this without one wing. That's what it looks like pretty and much. it flies at half, half the, speed. the speed. Yeah, this is actually kind of a hot rod. It flies pretty quick. It's pretty maneuverable. That one is, the P and pull is like low and slow. Yeah. 60 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. 50. With a good headwind, yeah. you're at 30. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like a slow, just put around. And there is going to be some amazing fun adventures when we do get mine done. Even if we don't keep that plane down here, we'll bring it down here for a certain amount of time. And we'll go land on the sandbars, go land on the beach. Oh, we got room to hang two of them in the rafters. I know. So. so. We got to do it. It'll be so much fun. All right, let's go see what Marcy's up to. We're going to get things loaded. Um, my brother actually gave me one of his hats. So he owns a construction and home service business like I used to. And he okay. gave me one of his hats, so thanks, Dallin. Um, if you guys are in Utah and you need house or sprinkler work or whatever done, hit him up, Cutting Edge Home Services, because he can do it. And also a shout out to our uncle who has uh, retired from being a pilot. He's given us his all kinds of stuff, just uh, hand-me-downs, which are really, really cool. Yeah. So this one uh, from Crand my uncle. Uh, yeah, my great uncle, I guess. Yep. So we got a handheld radio and a headset and a GPS. So, thank you so now it's job. more motivation to get That's my plane right. done. So I can now, actually now use it. Got, <laughs> you got the most expensive part ready. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, thanks, Uncle Jan. Um, hey, Papa. Yeah. Need to turn off the sprinkler so I can go. Oh, we <laughs> he's like, need to turn off the sprinkler so I can get back to the house. Is it still going? I think it's off. We have our whole family here in the car, Mevy. I had to refilm this because mommy um forgot to zoom out. What'd you do? Now they're going to wait all of this to fly by the wall for tomorrow we should come back and like, look, it's get Yeah. So tomorrow the boys are coming back down here. We're headed home right now. We're in the truck without air conditioning. So Crandall's and Bucky's getting ice. Um, I'm not, we're not really sure what we're doing at this point with the truck. Um, we can pay to have the AC recharged. Down. But we honestly just need to buy a new truck. So I gotta seriously talk to Crandall about it. And we gotta get ourselves a new truck. Cause this one is great for ripping out trees and things like that. But not great for taking the whole family when the other car doesn't work. So, um, but it's okay, we're just headed home. We're gonna hang out there today and then, um, I just remembered I have a church activity tonight. I gotta talk to Crandall to see if I'm gonna go. I don't really wanna drive this all the way up there. I don't think I'm gonna go. Um, but uh, we, tomorrow, Crandall and I, like I said earlier, we have Matt Rife. And so we um, are taking the kids back to Crandall's parents' house and they're gonna spend the night tomorrow night. Um, and then we're gonna come and fix our car on Saturday morning. We made it home and it has been a little bit of a slower, uh, not a slower day, but a slower afternoon. Also, I'm surprised. In my video yesterday, and maybe I missed the comment, there was a bunch of uh, watermelons on the back porch. And I don't think I saw a single comment about it. But what happened is uh, the other day, my neighbors got like a 15 acre watermelon patch. And uh, we went over there, helped him pick some of his melons. That they go and sell and then he gave me a bunch of melons for the animals so that's what all of these are uh they're still good like you could eat them but they're the ones that he can't sell or some of them like this one have been damaged they've broken open or they've started to uh go bad guess what waffles he loves himself a bad quote unquote watermelon check this out Let's see if he'll crush it. Oh, okay, the fence is off. Yeah, there you go, Waffles. What are you gonna do with that? Y'all ever seen a pig destroy a watermelon before? What are you doing, playing soccer? Ah, get it. Domino, you're right in the way. But can you hear it? You're shy to the microphone? I guess he's shy to the microphone, y'all. Come here, Waffles. I guess he's gonna enjoy that. Goats, what do you think? The ghosts have been enjoying all the watermelons that I left on the back porch. I had cut up in a bunch of them. Uh, so we cut up a bunch of them. We tasted them. Half of them were good. Half of them weren't great. Uh, so the half that we decided not to eat, we obviously just gave to the animals. And, and uh, they absolutely devoured them. So we got watermelon rants all over the yard now. I probably just need to go pick them up and go throw them over the fence to waffles. Let's get us another melon here for the chickens. 
and the baby ducks. This is a big old one here. I don't even know. Oh, there's a couple chickens over here. We'll see if they want some of this melon. I know these ducks and goats will. I'm surprised the ducks, or not the ducks, the goats won't eat the rinds, but they eat everything else. Come here, duckies. I know y'all want some of this. And yes, that is a yellow watermelon. My neighbor actually grows a bunch of yellow watermelons. So being that we were gone yesterday, or we got, we were, well, we were only gone for like not even 24 hours. Uh, we left yesterday morning, got back this morning. I've got a little bit of chores and stuff to do this afternoon. Uh, got to clean out, get everybody fresh water, get them fed, and give them their watermelon snacks, of course. But I want to go over and show you all the shop, um, give you guys a little bit of an update on that and what I've got going on there. Because we drove home with our windows open, the boys actually didn't sleep on the way home, which was so nice. So they actually came home, took a nap. Me and Marcy actually took like a 15 minute nap. So that was nice. Um, but it has been kind of more of a, a chill day, I guess you could say. Woo! That water in the hose is a thousand degrees. Holy cow. Let's go fill up the pig and Domino's water first. The guests are supposed to be in there too, but y'all know. They tend to do what they want. Thankfully, they stick around. I want to go ahead and just walk around the inside of this pen see how things are looking i know the goats are out of foraging feed in here i'm still feeding them their feed so what i'm meaning by saying that is they have food um but goats are foragers they love foraging more than anything else and so since they're low on foraging in here they like to jump out and go forage where they have foraging so I want to go through, look through here, see if there's anywhere that the fence is knocked down anywhere. Uh, and just take a look because it's been probably three weeks since I've been over here and looked to see, you know, what kind of is going on back over here. And they have eaten it down to the dirt, which I am very happy with. That's what we wanted. Get these leaves off of the ground. Get the uh, foliage kind of cleaned up. Get rid of some of these vines. I'm hoping... The browse pressure from them eating will actually kill some of these really sharp like rose bushes that are all through here. You can see it's it looks pretty dang good in here where they've cleaned. I also just want to check and make sure that none, no big section of the fence has fallen down. Sometimes when they jump over it, they'll actually knock it down. So I want to go check that. Man, we had like a armadillo den right here or maybe a coyote den. That's a lot of dirt. It's so interesting because this is, if you remember back a couple weeks ago when we moved the fence here, you couldn't even see the ground in here. It was so covered in foliage and all of that kind of stuff. So now that it's opened up, you can see we have a den of, or had, this is an old one, an old den right here for something an old den over there for something and it's just like wow you have no idea what all is here until you get the leaves eaten off of it this is all looking pretty good i don't really see anywhere that the fence is oh there's the fence down over here so that's probably where they're uh, getting out which makes sense like i said they like to forge and they don't got much forging in here i'd need to move the fence um 
I just haven't had time yet. And I've uh, been waiting to try and figure out where the best place to move it is. Now that we're going into fall, you can see it's not as green and lush as it was. Stuff is starting to die off. Um, and so we'll, we'll end up moving them. I just haven't quite nailed down where. Look, here, here's another mound. Probably armadillos is my guess on those. Could be coyotes and stuff, but I think more likely it's armadillos. It's amazing though. So nice to have it all cleaned up, cleared out. You can actually see through to the other side now. Where before, it was like this. Couldn't see 10 feet. Now you can see all the way across. We're gonna have to get Maverick and have him come out here and help me pick up all the trash, pick up all the tree limbs. You know, there's a lot of down tree limbs over here. And just kind of pick it up and clean it up, throw everything away that's trash. We've got their old pool that they completely destroy that's trash. We've got some feed sacks, trash, and other stuff that's blown in here. So I'll have him come out here and help me kind of, you know, pick up, clean up. Oh, they knocked the hose out. Or the hose knocked itself out. Almost got full. And then you can see all the dirt over here where they've completely eaten it away. What we will do to help them have greenery and food and stuff through the fall is we'll come in here and plant oats and wheat. Um, and there's a really easy way to do that. And I'll show you all that when we get to that point. Um, but there's a really easy way to do it. And we'll plant all of that. We'll move them. And then while this grows, and then we'll move them back over here. And the nice thing is, is when you plant that wheat and stuff during the winter, um, it actually won't go to seed until the spring and so you basically have grass um as long as it doesn't die which it i've never had an issue with it dying or anything like that um and so we should we should be able to have some grasses as in wheat and oats for them to be able to graze through the winter as we move them around from pasture to pasture so the shipping container shop is uh coming along this is the old AC unit that does not work. I think I may take it to a guy to see if he can fix it because the guy that sold it said, just keep it and I'll give you the replacement one because he had another one. And so he just gave us a replacement. So technically we've got the two ACs, but only one of them works. So I'm gonna see if what it takes to get that other one working because it'd be great to have two. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be a possibility or not. So because of the stuff that I've had going on the last couple of days, I mean, heck, we've been gone. I haven't gotten much more done on the trusses part of the shop. Um, last time, if y'all missed it, let me show y'all real quick. I have two sets of trusses cut. Now I need to weld the plate onto here to match this. And then two of the trusses get put together and you bolt them through that piece of metal there. So you can see the other truss right there. Um, and then we have one clear span 30 foot truss. So that's what we're gonna be doing with this. Um, I don't know, it is supposed to get a little bit cooler in temperature the next couple of days. Uh, this weekend, I think it's gonna be in the 90s instead of in the hundreds. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more work done out here. We've got some stuff going on. Uh, Mark, me and Marcia are going on a date. My parents are gonna watch the kids overnight tomorrow. So we're excited about that. Go have a little bit of a getaway. It's not really a getaway because we're not really going anywhere. But our kids are, so I guess it's a kid getaway. Kind of the quick update on the shop. Not much new here. Gonna get the other AC unit installed, see if I can fix this other one, and get these trusses built and start getting them put up. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. It was great taking y'all along flying, and I will see y'all tomorrow.